Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome to our video So, before we tell in this video what we are going to talk about, let us introduce ourselves Hello, I'm Fadil Hello, I'm Haya And hello, I'm Erina So, before we are already acquainted, that's why we will tell you in this video We will discuss two examples of STEM questions and explain it to you Where there will be one STEM question for junior high school and one STEM question for senior high school So, let's check it out So, the first question is for junior high school And the question is about probability And the first question is Water is one of the most important elements on the earth And the supply of water is constant because it goes through a cycle that includes evaporation, condensation, and precipitation Following this process, the water will fall to the earth as rainwater When can be predicted by examining the humidity, temperature, and air pressure factors in the clouds One day, you know saw a weather forecast on the TV. It said that the probability of rainfall in Incheon City in June 2022 is 0.8. So, she wants to figure out about what is the expected frequency of desert rain in Incheon in June 2022. So, here is the solution. The first problem, we have the given information that the probability of rainfall in Incheon City in June 20 and 22 equals 0.8 Then what is asked is the expected frequency of the snow rainfall in there To solve this problem, let T is rainfall equals 0.8 and T complement as the snow rainfall Rain and the snow rain is an example of the complementary event Two events are said to be complementary when one event occurs if and only if the other does not take place The probability of a complementary event is contradiction with an events that have been mentioned or in other words only as a complement to the sample space which has been mentioned from previous explanation we can write that px plus px complement equals 1 so that px complement equals 1 minus p where x is an event so we have pt complement equals 1 minus pt equals 1 minus 0.8 equals 0.2 the formula of the expected frequency is probability of an event is multiplied by the number of events that occur in Yuna's case the days of the month is the number of events so we can write 30 days as the number of events or as n then n times px equals n times pt complementary equals 30 days times 0.2 equals 6 in conclusion we get the expected frequency of test not rainfall in Incheon city in june 20 and 22 is 6 days so that's the junior high school questions now we will move to the senior high school questions where we will discuss about trigonometry so here is the second question in the room where you now watch tv there is a cctv a cctv or closed circuit television is a tv system in which the signal is not disrupted publicly but is sent to a certain place on a limited or monitored monitor so it is prioritized for surveillance and security this TV relies on strategic camera placement and observation of camera input on a monitor somewhere. Cameras communicate with monitors or video recorders over private wireless communication links, so they earn the closed circuit. Designation to indicate that access to the content is restricted by design to those who can view it. CCTV is widely used for security purposes, such as in shopping centers, offices, traffic control, and so on. So, the CCTV in the unit's room is placed at a height of 9 meters from the floor with an angle of 75 degrees from the wall with the minimum angle of the CCTV moving is 45 degrees from the wall. You know wants to know, what is the viewing distance of the CCTV? So, here is the solution. To answer the second question, firstly, we should write the given as and the answer. So the given is the distance of CCTV from the floor is 9 meters. CCTV angle from the wall is 75 degree and the minimum angle of the moving is 45 degree. 
and the us is CCTV visibility. And the answer is firstly, we can illustrate the distance and the angle of the CCTV as below. Then we get the triangle and we know the distance of CCTV from the floor or we can say it as PC is 9 meters. Because the minimum angle of CCTV moving is 45 degrees from the wall, plus we have the angle of BPC is equal to 45 degree and by the triangle BCP we can find the length of PC using trigonometry that is tan 45 degree equals to PC over PC we know that tan 45 degree is 1 and PC is 9 then we can calculate it and we can get the PC is 9 meters here we want to know the CCTV visibility and from the illustration of triangle, we know that the CCTV visibility is equal to the length of AB. So to find the length of AB, we see the triangle ACB where it has this 75 degree. Thus, we should use the formula of analytics trigonometry. It is tan of alpha plus beta equals to tan alpha plus tan beta over 1 minus tan alpha times tan beta. We have the alpha is equal to angle of BPC is equal to 45 degree, then alpha plus beta is equal to 75, we change the alpha, we calculate and we get the beta is 30 degree. Then we back to the analytics trigonometry formula when we change the alpha and the beta. So we get tan of 45 degree plus 30 degree equals to tan 45 degree plus tan 30 degree and so on. And we know that tan 45 degree is equal to 1 and tan 30 degree is equal to 1 over 3 square root 3. Then we calculate it and we cut the tan of 45 degree plus 30 degree or we can say it as tan 75 degree is equal to 2 plus square root 3. Then we can find the length of AB with trigonometry that is tan 75 degree equals to AC over PC. We know that tan 75 degree is 2 plus square root 3 and AC is equal to AB plus BC. Then we know that PC is 9, PC is 9, and we just calculate it to find the length of AB. So we got the AB is equal to 9 plus 9 square root 3, or we can factorize it, then we get 9, 1 plus square root 3, or it is approximately to 24,59. Thus we have the length of AB is 9, 1 plus square root 3 meters, or approximately 24,59 meters. In conclusion, the viewing distance of CCTV if the minimum angle of the CCTV moving is 45 degree from the wall is 9 1 plus square root 3 meters or approximately 24,59 meters. So that's all from our discussion and the explanation of two STEM questions in this video, which discuss about probability for the junior high school level and the trigonometry for the senior high school level. So thank you for watching, hope you understand and don't forget to like, share and comment. See you next time, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.